Emptiness are not coming, so I'm just gonna take this one. Bye! No, that's not how I started. <laughs> Fourth attempt filming this video. Recording! Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Another week, another video. This is the fourth time I have sat down to actually film this video. It's bugging me now. I have a haul for you guys and I don't really know why I don't do a lot of hauls on my channel because I really like watching hauls. Uh, it was my birthday month in May and I know it's July and this video is long overdue but I only just received all of my orders and I thought that I'd film every single thing in one video. Get back, relax because this video is gonna be long. Let's start off with Sephora. The first thing I picked up from Sephora was the Clinique Redness Solution Makeup Broad Spectrum Foundation and I've been wanting to try this foundation out for so long just didn't get a chance to try it out and it was always in my favorites basket but I finally picked it up but I am gutted because I picked up the darker shade and it's really bugging me now because I can't use it on its own because it's pretty dark for me so I'm gonna have to mix it with the foundation and make this work but I'm super excited for this I've only used this once and I think I like the results so I'm gonna have to get back to you on this one sticking to the Clinique Clinique I picked up the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. Actually, I was going to pick up the Kiehl's uh, Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Treatment, but because Sephora doesn't carry Kiehl's for some reason, I thought that, yeah, I'm not going to order from Nordstrom just to get Kiehl's. So I tried this one out, and I've used this, like, maybe for a week now. I'm not 100% sold on it. Uh, this is basically just a serum for your dark spots that you get from acne, and uh, let's see if it works or not. Now, I know that I am not very good at trying out new concealers. I feel like when I find one concealer that I really like, I just stick to it. But for the sake of the video tutorials and favorites, I was like, I should delve into some new concealers. And so I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And I picked this one up because I saw so many people rave about this on YouTube. And I was intrigued. I was like, yep, I need to try this out. And I really like it. I've used this for about two weeks or three weeks since I've gotten it. And... I love it. I love it. I really like this concealer. I picked this one up in light warm and it is a great concealer for the under eye. It's great to strobe with and I like it. Next thing I picked up was the Benefit Pore Fashional and I know I'm really late on the Pore Fashional train but better late than never, right? Not someone who spends money on a primer because I feel like that's an extra step. But lately, I've been feeling a lot oily on my skin because it's super hot outside. And I was like, okay, I need to get a primer now. And so I picked this one up and I really, really like it. And I don't know why I didn't pick this up sooner because it's such a handy product. And I can't imagine my life without this anymore. <laughs> so I really like this. I feel like I'm giving you a review as I show you the thing. The next thing I picked up was the da, 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 Benefit Cheekathon Palette. So basically, this palette comes with Hula, Coralista, Dandelion, Dallas, and Rocketeer. And I don't have any benefit. Do I? No way. I don't have any benefit. Uh, brush, brushes, blushes. I paid like what 50, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, maybe more. I don't know for this, and I get like five things and these are pretty decent sized i feel like i'm not going to be running out of them anytime soon also i get a really nice box and this box smells really nice it smells younger when i would get a new barbie it would smell exactly like this and this smell just makes me nostalgic and basically makes me want to smell a new barbie so yeah i really like this the next thing i got from sephora is uh kind of disappointing because i paid 18 bucks for testers that one d-box which i have thrown away uh, came with two products and the first product is the lipstick and and this one is in magics and it looks like this and it's very similar to the one that i have and um yeah i i don't know i mean i like it but it's it's sample and i paid for it next thing that was in the box was the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I have yet to use this. This is the one in Trooper and I've heard great things about this one. So this better be good because I paid a lot of money on it. Basically, when you're a VIP Rouge and Sephora, you get a birthday gift whenever you check out uh, in Sephora and it's your birthday month. So I got the Marc Jacob box and I was super excited for it, but these are the things that came in and I know they're tiny. I'm good at looking at this because I kind of paid 18 bucks for the uh, Kat Von D stuff and I got this one for free. This is the Marc Jacobs um, 
blacker liner i would describe this as kajal guys like don't be fooled by paying like 50 bucks or something crazy for this because you can just get it really cheap and the lip lip gloss no this is the lipstick the lipstick that i got in the box was this like i think maybe twice you can use it and this is in the shade kiss kiss bang bang i mean this stuff is really tiny but it was free so i'm not complaining i'm a happy bunny the next two makeup bits that I picked up were not from Sephora. They were actually from, one was from Tarte and one was from a Facebook page. So I'll show you the first thing. Now, the thing that I was super excited about was this. This is the Tarte Lip Palette and Bloom and oh my goodness, look at this. This is so beautiful. I have a review of this up on my site. And since I received this, I think this is the only eyeshadow palette that I've been using. I can't like stop looking at it in the viewfinder because it's so pretty. Uh, my sister's looking at me she's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I really like this. The first thing I was like, I need to open this. Now, if you're someone who likes neutral eyes and likes having variety of neutral eye shades, then I feel like you're really gonna like this because there's so much you can do with this palette. Like, when I see this, I see potential. And that is the thing that I love seeing in things. So this has a lot of potential. Plus, it's really pretty to look at. Like, look at this. It's reflecting light. And, oh my goodness, Tarte, I love you guys. I love every single eyeshadow palette that you've taken out. I feel like I wish I could afford every single thing, but I can't. But I do like this. The next thing I picked up was the Anastasia Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. I love this highlighter palette. If you guys don't have any of the Anastasia slash Anastasia palettes, then you need to get one because they're really good. And I feel like you get four highlighters for only 45 This is what it looks like. It comes with four highlighters. It comes with sunburst, golden bronze, bubbly, and dripping in gold. And I have a post up on my site with swatches of all of these beautiful highlights. Guys, so now I want to talk about something really exciting. So this company, Fermo, contacted me and they wanted me to pick out any pair of glasses from their website and uh, obviously I was like, hell yes, because I wear glasses all the time because I'm practically blind. But I really wanted some glasses that would look like super hipster, cool and very tumblery. And when I went on the site, they had like such a great selection. So I picked these ones up and I'm not gonna lie I get a lot of Harry Potter vibes like I'm a Harry Potter now tell me I'm Harry Potter or maybe Hermione Granger <laughs> no they <laughs> no? like, make me look really nerdy and like those hot librarians that you see at the library and you're like mm-hmm I want your number but you ain't getting it I'm nerdy and very scholarly if I say so myself. For the glasses guys, so I got these from Fermo.com and I will leave the links to their website down below because they have so many amazing glasses. Like I was scrolling through and I was like, which one do I select? And I was always hoping they're gonna ask me to select like two or three pairs. I was getting a little greedy, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna leave a code down below. The code is A-N-U-S-H-A-E, that is my name. And you can use that code and you can get a pair of glasses for free it doesn't get any better than this if you ask me you can get the glasses free you can get the lens for free and i mean why wouldn't you want that you get a free pair of glasses i'm gonna leave how long the code is valid for i really like these glasses i feel like i'm gonna get the ref uh, reflector things put in and, and use them as like um what do you call them sunglasses because they are just too pretty to wear on a daily basis these need to be sunglasses i feel like they need to be sunglasses free shipping is not included in this deal you're getting free glasses you can pay shipping because that's like basically you're paying for one thing rather than two things so that's a great deal if you ask me hey and i don't know why i'm doing this with my hands next thing that i want to share with you guys are two pair of shoes that i got from borg on shoes a while back i posted a picture on instagram and i was wearing these heels and a lot of people commented that i wish these heels were available here and yes they are guys borg on shoes is a local uh, shoe shop and you can buy shoes from there and they're really cute shoes so the first thing that i picked up were these pair of heels and look how beautiful these are so i'm not going to attempt to describe them because you can obviously see them and they're beautiful and they're very comfortable i think probably the most comfortable pair of heels that i own are from Borjan. next pair i picked up were also from Borjan, and look how pretty these are i love the colors in these 
And they're so comfortable, guys. They're so comfortable. The next shop that I shopped at was Topshop. And I ordered the Topshop stuff online. And over a hundred pounds, basically, you get free shipping to any country, I think. And if your order is below a hundred pounds, then it's ten pounds something for shipping. And the best thing is, you don't get called for custom, which is great. So the first thing that I picked up from Topshop was this jumper, which I still haven't worn because it's still very hot. And I, when I bought this, when I added it to my cart, I had I was under the impression that it wasn't gonna be as hot. A promising item and I cannot wait to wear it. The next bits that I picked up from Topshop were the pair of Joni jeans and they are by far the best jeans in the entire world. If you are looking for good pair of body hugging jeans then you need to try Topshop. Now I personally like the Joni jeans but they have a huge selection and a variety of jeans. Now I picked up the ones in dark blue. I wanted to pick up ones in black but I already have whoa. It can be a bit challenging to buy jeans online if you don't know your waist. And Topshop, it starts from 24 because these jeans go really high up. So I feel like you should always get a size smaller than your waist size. Like if, if it were to go right on your waist because obviously if it's going all, all the way high up so it's going to be less than your waist size. I got these ones in a size 24 and the leg was 30, 30 and I really like how they fit. And basically I picked up the same pair in this gorgeous gray color and I like them. These are again size 24 and leg 30. Next thing I picked up from Topshop was this, the everything stick. I only use it for my lips and I really like the color. It's a really nice everyday color. I don't know how to describe this. Does this have a name? So, it doesn't have a name. I'll try to link it down below. I like it. Two jeans. I, if you don't want to buy from Topshop because it's understandable, you don't want to wait three weeks to get your order or you just don't want to buy from Topshop, you can go to Cardi because they have equally good pair of jeans. Now, this is my second pair from Cardi. I, had, I have black ones and they fit like a glove. I love those jeans and I think I've worn them in different vlogs and I've probably pointed them out that I got them from Cardi. I got these blue ones and these ones are so comfortable. They're not like denim, they're cotton jeans and I feel like that's perfect for uh, summer. They fit really nicely so, and they're just as good as the Topshop jeans, a lot cheaper than the Topshop jeans and basically you don't have to wait three weeks to get them. You can just go to the shop and get them or you can order them online and get them. But not the least, I have some stuff from AliExpress. Uh, I love kimonos and so I picked this one up and this is just like, I mean it's a navy blue one as you can see, I mean it's pointless explaining it to you because you can see it and I've worn this in so many vlogs, I've worn this in my last vlog and the previous vlog which just goes to show how much I love it and I will link them down below if you want to see how it looks. I, I really like it, the quality is really nice, it smells really nice too. Next thing that I picked up from AliExpress was this top and I think I've worn this in a vlog as well but I really like the top, it has a nice high low hem, I love, love the collar on this one and the sleeves. I saw this top I was like yes I need this because this top is so me. Next thing I picked up was also a kimono and basically this is what it looks like. Now it, it looks really beautiful I think when you look at it from far away and um, yeah it looks really nice from far away but when you come close you can kind of see that the quality of this is not all that great. Like I wasn't blown away with the quality and this was the most expensive item compared to all the other things that I picked up from AliExpress and I was kind of bummed about the quality because it could have been a lot better and because it's such a beautiful item but it feels really cheap and me don't like that. When I wear this I have to make sure people don't come close to me, they just look at me from far away. That's it! We have come to the end of this very long video. For your convenience, I will link everything that I've mentioned in the video down below, which is going to be a challenge because I don't know if I can find all the AliExpress stuff. Also link reviews for stuff that I've done if you would like to read them. That was it for the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey girl, I'm more for this year. <laughs> having a great time guys. Are we having a good time? Yeah, great time. <laughs> We're having some lifelong discussions and some lessons that we're learning along the way. <laughs>